Yo, what's going on guys? It is Bradley Freakin. We're here again to do another GeoGuessr daily challenge today. It is December 21st that this daily challenge came out. We're going to just jump right in here together to see if we can find any clues together and kind of go over the thought process. Once again, it's been a couple days since I've played, um, but let's see what we can do today. All right. So immediately we see that we are in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, these two trash cans, wow, <laughs> these two trash cans together you see a lot in New Zealand and um, specifically in Auckland. It literally says just Auckland City Council here. So really not much needs to else needs else to be done here. Um, we will just go right into Auckland and plonk down here. Wow. All right, 3.9 miles going on to round two. That was an easy one. Um, this might be a very quick daily if uh, if this stuff stays up. So um, this is clearly India. The best way to know is this big, gigantic blur on the bottom of the screen. It's one of the biggest blurs that you'll ever see in GeoGuessr. Uh, when you see this and it looks even remotely um, like India, then you are in um, New Delhi. So we can plonk this here. I think that they're adding more India coverage that will be distinguishable. It won't have this blur. But for now, if you see that blur, you're in New Delhi. All right, um, going on to round three. This will be a little bit harder, a little better. Okay, what do we see? Um, so slightly overcast. Looks like we have Gen 4 coverage. Mm. Okay, so we see that this pedestrian crosswalk has four steps on it. One, two, three, four. Um, and this looks a lot like... I would guess that this is like Scandinavian. Um, so of the uh, Norway, Sweden, and Finland of those three countries, the only one that, oh, the only two, there's two that have four crosswalks, four steps on their crosswalk. That's Norway and Sweden. Um, Finland does not. So we're kind of down between those two countries here. And so kind of trying to narrow it down there, we have, can't really see much more other than the terrain. There might be more experienced players who can tell these poles or something. Um, but the terrain, I really think that this is going to be Norway. Uh, it could be potentially Sweden, um, but the houses don't look too Swedish to me. And these are pretty big hills, um, mountains on either side. So I'm pretty certain that this is Norway. Doesn't look like quite big enough to be Oslo. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Um, let's pick, but it also doesn't seem too far up here because this stuff is just gorgeous, you know? Um, so let's go, what would be a good one? I think it's a town nearby. We'll go in, scan. No, that doesn't sound right. Let's not do that. I don't like that one. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go in Bronvu. I like the name. Go in Bronvu and see if that's close. Hey, not too far. It was in Lilyhammer, 50 miles away. Not a bad Norway guess. Um, okay, yeah, a little bit harder that time. Going into round four. Um, clearly in a European country, we have really overcast though. Let's see, uh, looks like a Fiat. We are in the European Union, very good. Um, what else do we see? A little railway here. Doesn't look like there is an antenna. Um, these license plates are a pretty big giveaway if you know the clue here. Um, it looks like we have reddish text on these license plates. Uh, you can still see the blue strip, but the actual text itself, even though it's blurred, uh, appears to be red. And you see that a lot in Belgium. And these houses with their black roofs, a lot of them have these black roofs. Um, you see that a lot in Belgium. Uh, I'm not going to try and region guess this. Uh, could be Brussels, could be Ghent. Uh, so we'll just aim toward the center and hope that we are in the right region. Oh yeah, it was in a little town outside of Brussels, so not too bad there. Going into the final round with a pretty solid score here. Um, okay, so here we are in uh, the Southern Hemisphere. Definitely South America vibes. We have white lines on the outside and a, slash de a dotted yellow on the inside. This pole right here with the white, um, the white poles actually kind of reminds me of Uruguay. Um, the problem with that is that we have a yellow license plate here and this sign really far down the road. Although you can't see the Colombian cross, it's in the same format and color 
and everything to where this is, I would be willing to bet that this is a Colombian cross down there. So we will go ahead and put our marker down in Colombia. Um, that should be where we are on this one. Something really odd, though, is uh, Colombia is usually not this flat. Um, while I was looking, I did not see a single mountain, hill, nothing in sight. So um, the majority of the coverage on the country is on this kind of northwestern half. You don't really see much over here. Um, and then of that, the problem is that the Andes kind of, this is where they're starting out. So you almost all of this is just mountainous. So although it's possible we could be in an area over here, I find it unlikely. So an area like Monteria or Soledad, this is like kind of perfect for what we're looking for. Um, so we can kind of line up the road here and might get a good guess. So it looks like the road is going kind of northeastern. And that would kind of line up for some of this over here. Yeah, let's just go on a road up here headed towards the coast. It's weird because it doesn't seem too coastal to me. Um, but we will plonk right here outside of Barranquilla and see what we get. Yeah, it was actually further. Wow, that was just right on the coast. That is bizarre. That did not look that coastal to me. But um, it was definitely flat enough, so that, that does make sense. So our final score is 23,876. But uh, today's GeoGuessr Daily was uh, pretty straightforward, telling us where we are half the time. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it, maybe even learned something. Thanks for watching.